afternoon. It's Dina coming to you live from North Carolina. Y'all say hey. As y'all are jumping on, if you're watching this on the replay, as always, make sure you drop replay or I missed you down below in the comments so I can say thank you for watching. Y'all don't know if this ring light's gonna, <laughs> I gotta ring my, I don't know what's going, the outlet right behind here that I have my ring lights in. I don't know if what's happened, but they're, they're like not working. So I had to plug them in somewhere else. So hopefully this won't fall. I don't know. We'll see. Hi, Lois. How are you doing today? Y'all say hey. Say hi as you are jumping on. If you are catching this live, make sure you say hi in the comments. Uh, if you're, like I said, if you're catching this on the replay, make sure you drop replay or I missed you down in the comments. Uh, and as always, make sure you turn on the live notifications uh, so you don't have to keep watching me on the replay. I'm going to make a quick lunch, y'all. I'm just getting in from a walk, and it is hot outside, so I'm, like, sweating a little bit, so I apologize. Um, I have a meeting at 1 o'clock, so I'm trying to get dinner done before I have to go back to work. Hi, uh, Lois. Hi, Rose. Hi, Carlos. How are y'all doing today? Happy Monday. Yes. Hopefully, you're having a great Monday so far. It is nice here, but hot. <laughs> uh, hi, Teresa. How are you doing today? So, today, I'm going to make lunch for y'all. So, a lot of people ask me all the time what I have for lunch, um, and y'all see me mixing up the protein shakes a lot. Um, my son actually asked me to make him a protein shake, and I was like, I'm not making protein shakes this week, because <laughs> I'm not fasting this week. So, well, I, I intermittent fast every day, so I am still intermittent fasting, but I'm not doing like the I fast where I have the uh, protein shakes for lunch. Hey, Linda, how are you? It's hot in Phoenix, too. Let's see, what is it here? It's 84 here in North Carolina, and I just walked two and a half miles. Uh, but it's not humid, so, and there's a breeze, so when there's not a breeze, it's pretty hot. But, um, but yeah, it's kind of hot. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to get out and do two and a half more miles later. So, I did walk like four miles with my dad yesterday, y'all. <laughs> my dad, I, he can walk. Like, he can keep walking. He wanted to walk two more miles, and we were like, no, we're done. And the grandkids were like... Granddaddy, we need to rest. <laughs> and he's like just leading the head. Come on, let's go. So my dad, he's, he stays fit. He's retired. He goes to the gym like almost every day. And I mean, he's probably bored. So <laughs> the gym gives him something to do. But if you're a father on here, hopefully you had a great Father's Day. Uh, and got to spend some time with your family. But we're going to make lunch real quick. This is really hot. I hate to open the window because all my air condition is going to go out. Hey, uh, Carrie, how are you? <laughs> so y'all let me know, what did y'all do yesterday? We actually, we took my dad lunch. Um, we took lunch over to his house instead of going out to eat. We just took lunch over there. And then we went walking and we ended up in the park. <laughs> so hopefully, well, I think I posted a few of the videos from the park, but there was even more of my stories. So if you don't watch my stories, you're missing out on some of, some of the shenanigans yesterday. <laughs> my dad actually said, he said, I can't wait until people ask me what I did for Father's Day. I'm going to say I took my kids to the park because <laughs> literally he took us to the park. <laughs> uh, can't wait to be able to walk again. Oh, well, prayers for you, Lois, that you can get up and going before long. Hi, Melinda. How are you doing today? All right, so we're going to make a quick shuffle recipe. So who likes chicken fajitas or not fajitas? That's what I just told my son. I was like, you want chicken fajitas? And he kind of looked at me like funny. <laughs> no. Chicken quesadillas. These are chicken quesadillas. These are going to be really quick. Uh, I am going to keep these clean. I'm going to make the top and the bottom out with cheese. Uh, that's why it's called a shuffle. But if you have the little mini tortilla shells and you follow like a dirty keto lifestyle, you can definitely use those too to make it a little bit easier. But we're going to keep these, we're going to keep these clean. We're going to keep these more of a strict or lazy keto style. So you're going to need about a fourth of a cup of cheese. I'm not putting any, I don't like to put oil on my mini dash grill. Can y'all see the grill? I don't want to move this too much because then it might fall because the, <laughs> the ring light is literally clipped on. Hi, thank you for sharing, Melinda. I appreciate you. Hi, Beverly. How are you doing today? All right, so this is going to be really quick. We're going to put about a fourth of a cup of this um, mixed this is like a mixed blend cheese. Uh, you can use cheddar. If you have cheddar, it would be fine. You're gonna get a little more grease from the cheddar. Uh, or you can also use just mozzarella. Uh, chicken, if you have leftover chicken from yesterday, you can use that, shredded chicken. Or if you get the shortcuts, you can use that. Um, whatever kind of chicken you like, we're gonna put the chicken down. You can actually, you, you can do this with beef too, if you wanna do a beef quesadilla. 
Y'all know we like chicken in our house. If you've been watching me for any length of time, if, you, if you're new, make sure you drop new in the comments. If you're new, welcome to the Dina Show. I love chicken, y'all. <laughs> I can make a lot of recipes with chicken. All right, so I am actually going to use some of this Taco Bell. Um, this is what? Spicy Ranchero. It's usually in the taco section at Walmart or the grocery store if they carry it. We're going to top this with a little more cheese. If you can't get the... Um, the Taco Bell Ranchero sauce, you can definitely just use like a buffalo sauce. It would work fine too. So we're gonna let that cook. That's it, y'all. <laughs> Hi, uh, Linda, how are you? Uh, Melanie sounds good, yes. Hi, Melanie, welcome. Hi, Margaret, how are you doing today? Thank you for sharing, Beverly, I appreciate you. Y'all make sure y'all say hi as you're jumping on. Let me know where you are joining from. Hopefully you're having a great Monday so far. I just was walking. I walked two and a half miles, y'all, and I listened to like three personal development videos while I was out walking. So definitely getting the right mindset for Monday. So if y'all need any personal development videos, I'm thinking about moving them over, like creating a link in my bio of my like YouTube, because I have them all saved on my YouTube channel. I'm thinking I can put a link to that if y'all would be if y'all would be interested in it. Uh, as part of our jump, we usually do. We share personal development videos, but we're doing the summer slim down. So everything's in the resource, in the um, perfect group this month. So we'll get back to doing the, sharing the personal development. I am sharing uh, mine today with my VIP customers. So if y'all missed that, it's in the chat. I did drop it in there for you guys. What kind of grill? This is a mini dash grill. And if you share all my live videos, you have a chance to, w enter, uh, to win one of these every single week. I give away one mini dash grill just like this every single week. So all you have to do to um, for your chance to win is share. I probably should have put a plate under this. I'll put a plate under it when it's when this one's done. You just wait for the little light right here to cut off. Just wait just a little bit more. It's not quite done. I probably shouldn't have opened it. <laughs> I am impatient. <laughs> So, yeah, you can get them on Amazon. Walmart sells them. Target sells them. Most stores sell them. Kohl's, if you have a Kohl's near you, they sell them. Uh, pretty inexpensive, too. So, you can make a lot of re different recipes uh, with a little mini dash griddle. So, y'all let me know. If y'all cook things on a mini dash griddle, what is your favorite? Like, if you make shuffles, shuffles it's a cheese waffle is pretty much what it is. Uh, if you're keto, you should probably know what it is. <laughs> I'm waiting for that light. It seems like it's taking a while. I'm impatient today. My son wanted one. He also wanted a protein shake, which I don't know if I'm going to be making a protein shake. Hey, Debbie, how are you? So this, where you're going to get your cheese, your kind of dairy in uh, with a good fat. Um, this ranchero, I don't think there's any. It's very low carb if there is. Two, teaspoon, two tablespoons have a total of, let me see. It says three carbs. Is there any fiber? No fiber. So yeah, three carbs and two, but I probably only use like one um, tablespoon. And then of course you're gonna get your chicken in. So I was listening to Coach Rob, which is, uh, he's like one of the main Prove It coaches. If you're in the Drink Ketones Daily group, he, he did a, a live video on Saturday. I highly recommend you go watch it. Um, if you want access to that, please let me know as well. I can probably get you access. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Hi, Paulette. How are you? He was talking about how it is very important to pair everything you eat with a protein. Like if you're having a bowl of oatmeal, you need to also have a protein. So maybe some yogurt or put some walnuts in your oatmeal or maybe have a side of sausage or some eggs or something like that. You need to pair every meal you're eating with some kind of protein, which we are. We're having chicken, so we're good. <laughs> Hi, Cindy, how are you? All right, the light is off. Let's see if this is done. So if you're just jumping on, I'm gonna make another one in just a minute. Y'all look at that. I'm gonna let it cool off for just a minute and then I'll cut it in half. There's literally some uh, spicy ranchero and some chicken in the middle of this. We're gonna make another one. If you're just jumping on, we're making some uh, chicken quesadilla shuffles. Just put down some cheese. I'm like, what time is it? I hear my Zoom phone ringing. <laughs> I'm at lunch. Let's 
put down some chicken uh, and then you're going to put some sauce. Um, I'm using this Taco Bell spicy ranchero. Uh, you can use buffalo sauce as well. And it's not squirt out at me. I had to turn it upside down because it's like, it's almost all gone and I don't have another one. And then we're going to top this with a little more cheese. And the cheese kind of works as your, um, your shell. I should have put a, I should I said I was going to put a plate under that and I completely forgot again. Hi Mary, how are you? So this is what they look like when they are done. I probably didn't have quite enough cheese on that side. Looks like a waffle. It's a cheese waffle. <laughs> Do y'all like shuffles? I think I know what it is. My son's playing uh, Minecraft. I think that's what it is. Hey, Cam uh, Cammie, how are you? No, that's my niece's name. <laughs> Somebody asked yesterday when they saw the pictures that I posted, was uh, she my, da my daughter? Because my niece, they said she looks like me. But no, she's my niece. My daughter is a lot older. Uh, hi, Barbara, how are you? Yes, Mary, I am doing great on this Monday. Great so far. Great start to my week. So I've done, I like to do a lot of personal development on Monday to kick the week off strong. So, all right, let me get a knife. Cut this in half and show y'all what it looks like. What are y'all having for lunch? You really can't see it, but there's chicken in there. There's uh, that ranchero sauce in there. It's so good. <laughs> Hi, Marquilla, how are you? Thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna probably make about two more of these because my son, you know, he's 14. He can probably eat three, but he actually loves to make shuffles. He can make them himself, so. Yeah, see, I should have put a plate in there. But that's why I like to use a cutting board. All I got to do is, like, wipe it off. <laughs> it's not all over my counter. So, um, we're going to wait for this one to cook. And then I'm probably going to make, like, two more. Because I had enough chicken to do, like, four of them. But these are super delicious. The other, uh, one of our favorites is pizza. <laughs> Hi, Christopher. How are you doing today? Uh, if y'all have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Like, I love it when people have questions for me. If I don't know the answer, I can get uh, get the answer and get back to you with it. So, um, but I do follow Lazy Keto Lifestyle. So, for those that are new, I do follow Keto. So, I don't know if you're following a Keto Lifestyle or if you're just on a health journey. Uh, most of my recipes are gluten-free and keto-friendly or low-carb. I was just talking to my sister yesterday. Like, this smoke is, like, blowing all in my face. Uh... She actually has kind of been on and off like a Weight Watchers. And she's like, I've noticed a lot of the Weight Watchers stuff kind of crosses over into the keto. Like, I'm like, it's really all the same. It's some people get, you know, a stigma around it when you put a label on it. Like when you say I'm keto um, or I'm paleo or Mediterranean or vegetarian, there's a stigma around it when you put that label on it. But it's really, they're really all the same. It's really focusing on high healthy or high healthy fats. I was going the right way. High healthy fats, low healthy carbs, uh, and protein, moderate protein. It's not high protein. So we don't want to do high protein unless you're a man and you want to build muscle mass. Most of you on here are women and you don't want to do high protein. You want to do moderate protein, but you do want to incorporate protein with every meal you're having. And you want to snack a little less. <laughs> So, you want to stay full by eating healthy carbs, healthy fats, a protein, so you stay full and you're not having so many snacks. Like, this is, y'all see this steam is steaming so bad. And it's dripping. I think I put a little bit too much in it this time. <laughs> Hi, Ann. Ann. Anna, how are you? Is it Anna or Annie? I think it's Annie. <laughs> how are you doing today? If y'all are new, make sure you drop new in the comments, especially if you're following keto. I have a ton of resources that I can share with you if you let me know. Uh, they are free, or you can go over to the link in my bio <laughs> if you don't want to message me. They're all over there in that resource link uh, in the About Me section on my profile. So, all right. So, I don't know about y'all, but I like to let it sit just for a minute. Y'all saw that light cut off. I'm like, I don't like to touch it just yet. So, here we go. So, if y'all are just jumping on and missed the first one, this is what they look like. And, like, literally, they come out usually easy. I think I put a little bit too much in it this time. So how many of y'all have a little grill like this and you're like, I have no idea what to cook in this thing. Like it's more, for, it's more than just waffles. I mean, you can make waffles in it if you want. Uh, speaking of, I have a great waffle recipe. All right, we're gonna try to get this out. I think I put too much in this. <laughs> oh, that's okay, we can get out. See, like you do not need to spray it. All right, we're gonna hold this one up here. See, 
like the, the, the it comes right out. There's like nothing left in there. There's some grease from the cheese that dripped out of the bottom, but um, that's okay. We will wipe our cutting board down when this is all done. I do recommend putting a plate under it. I just forgot, so. Hi, uh, Devana. I hope I'm saying your name right. Let me know if I'm not, <laughs> if I'm saying your name right, but welcome. But uh, I'm going to cook two more of these, uh, but I'm going to go up and go ahead and jump off of here. But thank you guys for jumping on on this Monday afternoon and watching me. I will be back live this evening for dinner. So if you're curious at what we have for dinner as a keto, I say keto family. My whole family doesn't really follow keto, but they just eat whatever I make. I make meals for the whole family that the whole family will love. So I do still work full time. So if you're a busy working mom or parent uh, looking for like some keto friendly races, y'all, yeah, this one looks better than the first one. You can like see the, the sauce in this one. <laughs> but if you're a busy working fam family and you're looking for like easy, low carb, keto friendly, whatever meals, uh, you're in the right place because that's all I do. So made some tacos. Fried cheese shells. Yes, I love to do that too. I won't, I might, you know what? I'm looking for some like gadgets to order on Timu because I'm going to try it out. My son's ordered a ton of stuff on Timu and I'm like, I want to order, but I don't, just don't want to order random crap. I want to order something I'm going to actually use. So I know they have those like taco shells that you put in the oven, uh, but I'm thinking, Mary, for cheese, the cheese shells, that would be really good. I probably should, maybe I should order one to try out for those. Hi, Pamela. How are you doing? Hi, Teresa. How are you? But if y'all have any suggestions what I should buy, grab on Timu, <laughs> let me know. Uh, I think I'm going to order some shaker cups for my, uh, my VIP customers. Uh, I have a few other little gadgets in there I'm going to order, but I'm, I'm going to do a Timu haul too when I do, when I get everything ordered. So, uh, it does, the only thing about Timu, if you've ever ordered from there, if you're considering order for ordering from Timu, it's not Amazon. So it's cheaper than Amazon, but you don't get it as quick as Amazon. So you do have to wait like a week or so to get it. It's not too bad. My son is, he's ordered a few things off of Timu. <laughs> Hey, Cynthia, how are you? Uh, but a lot of people are curious about Timu. Um, but it is legit because we have gotten everything we've ordered so far. So, But I appreciate y'all jumping on. Like I was saying, I do also share my dinners. So if you're interested in seeing what I am having for dinner this evening, join me back uh, around 6 p.m. tonight, Eastern Standard Time, uh, to see what our family is having for dinner this evening. But I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see y'all later. Bye, y'all.